हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस वन इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम चेक मिरर इन एनरी ट्री सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द प्रॉब्लम सो गाइस दिस इज बेसिकली द प्रॉब्लम वेयर वी आर गिवन एन द नंबर ऑफ नोट्स इन अ ट्री ई द नंबर ऑफ टोटल एजेस इन अ ट्री and a this is the like a is this is the first edge this is the second edge here similarly in b this is the first first edge this is the second edge here a is the edge array of first tree you can see this one and b is the edge array of second tree like this one and we have to find out whether they both are mirror of each other or not now what do we mean by mirror Mirror simply means if we have a tree like this, this is mirror. Suppose a minute, this is our mirror. Then suppose these this tree have these two node first, and suppose this is second. Then when we show it in mirror, it in mirror, and what will happen? This image will move cyclically. Like this node will come here and this node this node will come here okay like the left test node come to the right test position and the right test node come to the left test position so here just a minute so yeah okay guys so what we have to do like okay so here how can we find whether a tree is mirror image of each other or not like suppose if this is a node this is a common node okay suppose then we will check its array and make a vector of it its all array will be stored in this position and its all this is a mirror image of this is our first tree this is our second tree okay this is some random node x this is also x these nodes are same okay and this are the nodes of this particular node and if the value of this node is the value of this node the value of this node is the value of this node the value of this node is the value of this node means vector of x vector of x means the nodes of x is equal to is equal to reverse of is equal to uh, sorry is equal to reverse of vector of vx uh, suppose it is uh, it is v2x it is v1x okay vector of v2x okay because here we know if the counting of nodes are as 1 2 and 3 then here they will look as 3 2 1 so we can say these will be occurring reverse order here the order is this while here the order is this so these were reverse and if if this statement is true this statement is true then we will just write and true else for e, for e, each node x for each node x and x can vary from 1 to n x can vary from 1 to n if this statement is true for each node from 1 to n then we will return 1 else if it is if this condition is false then we will return 0 okay so now let's move on to the problem so here what we do we will take a two vector vector you can see i am taking a array of vector type okay here or you can also write it as if because vector array is maybe confusing for someone so here you can also write it as uh, like vector int uh, f n okay f n comma uh, sorry uh, n plus 1 comma s n plus 1 okay you can also write it as like this vector of vector of int of f n plus 1 whether you can use this bracket with vector int or you can use square bracket okay so i am just telling you so that you will be comfortable and i run a loop for i is 0 to i less than 2e because here you can see there are 2e total number of h and f ai like here then f ai ai means 1 f1 like i am explaining you okay suppose so 
suppose if this is the tree then as you can uh, as you know we are taken a vector of size 3 okay so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 these all index represent to a vector these all index represent to a vector okay now what is this vector we will look at it this is 1 h where 1 is 1 contain 2 so it will contain 2 okay means 1 is like this and 1 has a h to 2 and these all edges are in order like for 1 2 is the first edge now its second edge is 3 its second edge is 3 okay so its second edge is 3 now for second vector for second vector okay we will copy paste the out input out for that also for second edge the input is like this okay so here this one is the first node this one is the first node so 1 comma 3 is the first node so it, this tree will look like here 3 is its first node then second node is 3 uh, 2 is the children of 1 2 comma 2 so these all are complete this is a complete tree now here 0 is not a node at all okay so we don't care about 0 because our nodes are in range from 1 to n okay so guys now what we can do these two loop doing this all work okay this is our f this is our s first and second i mean okay then we run for i to m means for all the nodes whether first of all we will check the number of nodes they contain should be equal okay if my f dot size is not equal to my s dot size then i just return zero okay. If the size of my the children of that particular node are not equal, then I just return zero. Means they cannot be a mirror image of each other because the basic condition is number of nodes should be equal. And I will check for now, like how I will check. Like here, a and two has size equal. Okay, for two and three they all are null, so they will not check. But for one, we will check. Now how I will check for first for f1 and for s1. F means first tree and node is one. Okay, what I mean by it? Now S one. It is two three. It is two comma three. And it is three comma two. Second is three comma two. Then because the size of both are equal, then I can. What I I am doing? My X represent the starting node. X represent the starting node. My Y represent the last node. Now what is the size? Size is two size is 2 then how can i implement it fi dot size minus 1 means my y should be is equal to 1 now this is my x this is my y so this is my start ending and this is my starting okay these both are equal i will increment my x to 1 and decrement my 1 to 0 now x will represent to this y will represent to this these are equal my y will become minus 1 my 1 will become 2 then I am writing a condition till this loop will work while my y is greater than or is equal to 0. While my y is greater than or is equal to 0, my y is minus 1, so my loop will end. Okay. And the one condition I am writing in it if my ix, suppose if it is 2, but suppose if uh, it is 4, suppose for a minute if it is 4, then these both are not equal, then I will return 0. But because it is not is equal to 4 it is is equal to 2 so i am writing it as uh, i am incrementing my x and decrementing my y you can see x increment y minus minus if my f i x is not equal to s i y then i will return 0 because they cannot be mirror images okay they should be reverse of each other so and at last if my this condition always true and this condition always true means my tree is the mirror image of each other then at last i will return 1 I am compiling it just for checking whether there is any error or not. You can see right answer. So, guys, you can see all the 11 test cases are passed out and time taken 0 because ON and space complexity that I can use is ON. Okay, I am doing it in, it in ON and space complexity I am using is ON.
okay extra space complexity complexity this is uh, uh, extra from this a and b is not included this in this o n okay so guys all the lamb cases pass out so uh, and i am explaining you the case this is just a logical problem you have to just think and doing working i hope you all understand it i explain it very well and if still you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you and for now you can like the video subscribe the channel and check out my channel for more these type of videos and wait for next video stay happy till then thanks for watching this guys